What's up, what's up? Greetings, everyone. So, um, I want to come and do a post on uh, don't get scammed, of not getting scammed. Um, so, we'll be talking about that in a few. Welcome, welcome. Yep. Yep, so again... The topic for today is going to be don't get scammed. I have a few things I'm going to be hitting on in a few, right? So, um, all right, so we are in the age of scams, whether you want to believe it or not, right? And so you have to ask yourself why, right? Why do you get scammed, right? Scams come in all sizes, shape and form, right? But why do people get scammed, right? So people get scammed because of the mind and the grind set of a scammer, right? Scammers don't stop. They don't they don't let up, right? They are dedicated to scamming, right? They woke up, think about these scams. They spend all day seeing who they're going to scam, right? They go to sleep dreaming about a scam, right? So they are dedicated to what they do, scam, right? It's, all in the mind and it's in their grind, right? I heard scammers work harder than most people, right? That's why they're so successful at scamming. So that's point number one, right? Point, so if, if we know that it's the mind and the grind of a scammer, right, that puts the ball in their court. So when you um, sit and, uh, do some accountability measures, then you realize that if you do get scammed, it is your fault, right? I had to face this uh, reality myself. I've heard um, many others share about, um, you know, their uh, experiences with getting scammed. And nine times out of 10, there were things that could have been done to avoid being scammed, right? So for us, the reason why I say it's our fault is because um, the person who is on the side of getting scammed, uh, they have the micro microwave mindset, right? Whatever it is, right? Nine times out of ten, a person gets scammed because they wanted it right then and there. They wanted it. They, they couldn't wait, and they didn't want to put a, in the proper protocols to, you know, not get scammed, right? And so I say, if you transition from a microwave mindset to a, a marinade mindset, you'd be more successful. So what do you mean? Right? We, why do we use a microwave? Well, people who do use it, um, they use it so they can get their stuff um, heated up, warmed up at a quicker rate, right? Now, nine times out of ten, most people who use the microwave, they don't even let it get down to the, to the second, to the last second um before they stop it and get their food um just because of that mindset um i want it now i want it now right but when it comes to marinate when you marinate something um just think about the time and the time and the skill that's put into it right so first of all you already know you're going to marinate it right you have to put in the proper time right you gotta get the proper tools ingredients to let this thing marinate right so when you marinate, right, you prepare it, you wash it all off, right, um, you season it, marinate, and then you let it sit. You let it sit, right? And it sits. Why? Because it's not ready yet, right? So the things that you want, that you're trying to get, you should let it marinate. If you really want it, let it marinate. Why? Because when it's ready, it'll be time to put the thing into the oven, Okay? Um, if I'm on point number four, point number four is, uh, doing the research, right? So let's think of some examples of some scams, right? Boom. One cash. So believe it or not, social media is like a scammer's world, right? Cause they have access to your followers, who you followed, who you followed follows, right? So they just have access to you, your account. All right, so one example, Cash App. Somebody from Cash App tried to hit me. Oh, yeah, you know, 
Um, you're not Cash App duty promotions. You know, once a week, you put in your Cash App address and some people get picked. So, um, of course, what scammers do, go in the comments, looking at people, Cash App names, this, that, and the third, right? And they'll send you a message. Hey, click here to claim your prize. You know, of course they do that when somebody's down and out or in need of something. So, what do you do? Some people might click, all right, what's up? What I got to do, right? So, I had the nerve to tell me, you have to send me the code, right? So, my phone ding. Well, first of all, they said they was an agent of Cash App. They needed, you know, to verify some things so they could send me the money. First of all, with Cash App, you don't have to verify nothing. You got my Cash App tag, you can send me my stuff. Boom. Uh, my phone ding. Boop. A Cash App representative will never ask you for your digits. So then the person, oh, I need your, your security digits. Look, first of all, it's a scam. Nobody from Cash App is going to ask me for my code. So put two and two together. This doesn't make sense. Oh, you're not trusting. Yeah, and you're not going to scam me, right? Two, with um, IG. So um, the circle of people who I'm choosing to um, network, communicate, and build with has grown and expanded. So I'm following new people. And what I noticed is that the people of a certain um, welfare status that I follow, as soon as I follow them, here come all these other different accounts, right? Uh, they might have two eyes instead of one, or, right? And so if we were just to slow down and just read and just, you know, use discernment, we could see um, slight um, details, right? It was a study that said um, if you, write a word and spill and have the first letter and the last letter correct your brain is just going to automatically assume and know what the word is whether it's spelled up or not right spell wrong or not right your mind does that with scams okay your mind looks at it look like everything is right but you don't see that it has two t's when it's supposed to have one you don't see that it's missing an e when it's supposed to have one right so if you were to slow down and let it marinate right these things will pop out to you so do your research right when these pages get to following you go check them out right they just made an account red flag right they just posted all the um pictures that they have this week might be a scam right and don't get me wrong people do update their accounts people do delete things and revamp it and 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 whatnot right but when you do your research when you do your due diligence these things pop out also um it's so easy to steal a video in a picture right and put it up and make a whole new account please believe people do and they will right so you can't be mad at something that is legit and something that is authentic because you didn't do your research and that you got scammed, okay? So the moral of the story, don't be still confused about money, right? Don't get scammed. Do your research and turn that microwave mindset into a, a marinade, let it simmer mindset, okay? Peace and love.